dudes, what's up? It's been a while, huh? You don't think we'd leave you hanging this long for nothing, right? We got some good news. So the world's gone a little crazy. Good news is, this channel now has merch. Link is below, go check it out, go shop. It's gonna support us on this channel. Next build, we got something super cool coming up for you. And with this whole world going crazy kind of bit, things slowed down in the world, things were tougher to get, parts and stuff like that. So basically I said, what better time than to really clean shop and clean out and try to figure out what's going on and exactly what I wanna do in the future and where we're going with this. And I started getting back into the art a lot. If you guys didn't know, I have an art channel too, which is, how the merch came to be. Why not mix the two things I like the most, cars and art, and I've decided to officially start my own line of apparel. So we have Speed Demon Design, that's the same as my other channel. There's links below for that. And so now we have three spots to get our merch from. We have 253 Limited Store where you can catch some really cool designs that I've made. And those are gonna be only there for limited time. Those are at a much lower price than any other brand on that site because I want you guys to get it. Also, we have a Speed Demon store, kind of a limited deal, nice designs too. And then also we have another Speed Demon design shop, which is all like, all our stuff, apparel. You can get all kinds of stuff. You can get anything on there. T-shirts, dresses, sweaters, mugs, anything you think of. Phone cases, stickers, all kinds of stuff. We even got comforters for beds, pillows, you name it. We make it, we make some pretty badass looking clocks. So go check the links below, pick up some merch and help this channel go a little further. So today what I wanna show you guys is part of that art thing and mixing the art with the cars. And I've been working on another channel, like I said, Speed Demon Design, where I've actually sold a few designs and done a few things that are pretty cool. So I figured why not roll with it? I enjoy it and good things seem to be happening. So check this out, I'm gonna show you what I've done recently. A few weeks ago I felt like getting a little creative and doing some designs. I had this old palette sitting in the back in my little storage area and I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. It was beat up and faded from the sun and like it was weathered so it looks kind of old school and kind of cool and kind of antique-ish already. So I figured why not paint an old classic car on it. I wasn't really sure what to put but um, at the end I decided on a 1969 Skyline GTR. Now it's not what you would think initially when you think of classic car and stuff but being a fan of import cars and muscle cars, I thought this was pretty cool. And plus back then, those Japanese import cars, they look like muscle cars, but they're a lot smaller. And small cars are usually pretty quick. So I'm a fan of small cars, which sucks, because I'm 6'2". Now this palette's pretty big. It's not like drawing on a piece of paper or painting like a small regular size painting or anything like that. Because of the size, proportions are really tough to get and also because of the fact that this is a palette and it's pieces of wood up and down next to each other with gaps in between. To try to line everything up and kind of freehand it, it's going to be almost impossible when you're standing that close to it because you're so close that you don't see the full picture. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm getting at? So a little trick from the trade that I picked up was uh, use a projector. And that way you're sure you can put some outlines in there and you can put some basic ideas of foundation of what's what. And then you get all your proportions right. So in the end, at least proportionate wise, it's gonna look fine. And that really is the key to some really nice artwork is proportions. Like you could be really good at drawing a person, but if their left hand is too big and so is their thumb and so is their left ear and half their head, well, you know, it's gonna look weird unless that's the style you're going for. But point is, this was a little trick that works out pretty good for me and I've used it before. I've used it also to paint the mural that's on the wall of my garage, that 10 foot tall paint up girl. There's a video of that on the other channel too. Go there, check it out. Enjoy this video first. Now to make my lines really sharp and make sure everything turns out kind of straight and nice and the lines are really definitive because it's on a palette and my contrasts aren't so great, like I'm not going from white to black, I'm going from a gray battered brownish kind of wood to black which is sprayed on so it doesn't always go on the thickest, like a opacity or a thing here, it's an issue. So what I used was little stencils, little business cards and stuff like that just to get my lines right and then some of my airbrushing stencils that I usually use for true fire. I uh, used those and I made the curves that I needed in the grill of the car 
it was kind of important to keep certain spots with no paint at all because you want those little highlights especially on a classic car because you know that's a chrome trim so you want that look to be kind of popping out and a little bit nicer than the rest of everything else a little cleaner and a little you know what i mean the shades is a whole other thing we could play with that in a bit but for now i had to make sure i got the basics down the foundation for this painting and all those highlights are going to pop the way i want Once the projector was off, it was time to do like a lot of freehand stuff, a lot of shading, a lot of filling in. Uh, the plate, I did basically freehand all the numbers and letters on that, which was kind of tough because they turned out really not sharp because of the airbrush. It sprays. It doesn't make super sharp lines unless you bring it right down. And the airbrush I'm currently using has seen better days. So it's got I got to crank up the air pressure to get it to flow right, the, to make it spray kind of straight. It's got to be out there pretty quick. And I have to thin out my paint properly. So. It gets kind of sloppy and to be honest, I'm not really there with my trigger control on these things yet. So that was probably the toughest part of it. And also doing the emblem on it with the little GTR badge. I did the outline of the GTR the same way while filling in the back. And you can kind of see where the shades and the transitions didn't really work out the way I wanted to there. But overall, I'm pretty content with it. Got in a little further, I used some stencils for like the headlights and stuff like that to make it kind of get that old school, you know, old headlights have like little paint lines in them, right? I guess it was in the glass to make it a little tougher, like a wedding. So I threw that kind of stuff in there. Uh, in the back, filled it in a bit. I used a stencil with these little, like these trees. So to kind of give the car the vibe as if it's going through the toge, right? Like up in the Japanese mountains with the trees and the cliffs and all this stuff. So it really goes back to the roots of the JDM classic cars and what they used to do with them. So that's probably the first of many because I actually enjoy doing that. So I'm gonna probably do other classic cars and old school cars and stuff. I've got some ideas, some motivation, some influence. I'm gonna see some more of that in the future, but for more of that kind of stuff, you guys are gonna to wanna to check out the other channel. That's Speed Demon Design. There's a link in the description. Hopefully there's a link popping up somewhere on top here too throughout the video. And don't forget that I mixed all the artwork and the car work stuff into having merch and apparel. So get your phone cases, get your stickers, get your shower curtains, get your bath mats, get, get Go check it out. You can find anything you want. Links are in the description and pretty much in the description of all my videos now. So whatever you're watching, check it out. Don't be shy. Hit the button. Go buy something cool and help support us and stuff like that. So it's kind of a short, sweet video for now, but this was a little project for this one. And my girlfriend says I should sell it for 85 bucks or something. So it's going to be up on one of the Facebook pages. You can try to find it there. Try to find me, whatever. Find all the links. Don't forget to find the Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because there's something really gnarly coming soon. And I'm not gonna blow it yet, it's gonna be a surprise. We're setting up so we can do it properly for once, something done right on this channel instead of just running around in circles. So, thank you. That's it for now. Peace out, stay happy, and buckle up. It's gonna be one hell of a ride.